Over five minutes gone. And Minnesota, little two on one down low. Big chance, they score! And the Whitecaps have the opener today. That was a real nifty play entering the zone there. Nice work by the Minnesota Whitecaps to get this puck to its intended target and find it in the back of the net. And we'll take another look at it here. The starts in their own zone, the pass up the ice all the way to about the blue line, and then the little pass and the backhander into the back of the net. And the Minnesota Whitecaps gave up the first goal yesterday. Today, they strike first, which was our key to the game for the Whitecaps. Was a fast start. They do that here. Anna Klein saucering to Brooke Matt. Minnesota again able to win that faceoff. Those faceoffs are so enormous, especially in power play situations. And it's deflected and they score. Beautifully redirected. They do cash in late on the power play. And it's 2 0 Whitecaps. And it looks like Sydney Bratt's going to be credited with the goal. She was our player to watch for Minnesota coming into this game. We'll take another look at it here. Those deflected shots are. So tough to, to read. And faking the shot kind of at the point there. And then sending it over and deflected in by Brat. And there was a lot of bodies in front of Hoffman. I, I think she was having some issues tracking that puck. Oh, by Liz Sheppers. Now left circle, a shot hit the underside of the bar and it stayed out. And then they score from a bad angle. And it's 3-1 Minnesota. Another frantic sequence. And the Whitecaps back up by two. I'll tell you what, Donnie, hockey does not care about your feelings. The shot that's an absolute snipe, that's a goal scorer's goal, rings off the post, and then the you know, bad angle shot somehow finds the back of the net. That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. And the Whitecaps, with a nice response to a couple good chances by Buffalo, come down the other side of the ice. This shot off the post by Albers. And then the second shot just winding up and ripping it in. And I like the idea by the Whitecaps because Hoffman's still kind of reeling from that shot that hit the post and they catch her off guard and get that two goal lead back. What a blast by Sydney Morin on a bouncing puck. That's amazing hand. Buffalo not able to keep that in the zone. It could be a two on one for Minnesota. Here they come left side. Jonna Albers on her backhand and she scores. Jonna Albers, what a finish. Roofing one right corner and beating Hoffman a short handed goal and possibly the dagger for Minnesota. They lead four to one. Jonna Elbers has played so well today, Donnie. I mean, she's someone you can always rely on, but she's been exceptional here this afternoon. And what a great pass initially. The backhanded pass through the neutral zone. And what a tough play. I mean, the backhand is a tough shot to make, and it's a tough shot to save for a goaltender because there's a little more, um, you don't know exactly what's going to happen with the backhand. And she's able to get this up and over the shoulder, short side on Hoffman to make it four to one and coach or player. There's another rush for Minnesota meanwhile. Trying to end the second period with a three goal lead. Nudge toward Hoffman, she can't find it. Minnesota can, the Whitecaps score again. And they have another killer goal with 32.7 left in the second. That anytime a goal is scored with less than a minute to go in a period, they are backbreakers and the Buffalo Buttes with a quick response to Minnesota Shorty and then the Whitecaps moments later come right back. And just a nice shot out front. This causes all the chaos. Hoffman can't find this first one and then it's swept into the back of the net. And that's why you just put pucks on the net because there's a lot of bodies out there. It makes it harder for the goaltender to track the puck, to stop the puck and the Whitecaps are able to capitalize.